Yes, everyone, how are we doing? We're back, and I'm here to make a little video talking about the preseason that's just finished. Finally, just come to an end. Look, I'm happy to see the back of it roll on the 23 24 season. The Community Shield is four days away, and I've never been more excited for Community Shield back in my life. I swear to God, I'm gagging for a bit of football with some importance to it. So, anyway, as I said, it's a preseason roundup. Let's have a little discussion about the three games that we did participate in. Two wins, one loss. I don't mind it. The results, of course, were a 5 3 win over Yokohama. A 2-1 win over Bayern Munich and a 2-1 loss to Atletico Madrid. Which, look, let's be honest, none of the games meant anything. It was a bit of a kick about in the park, a bit of a warm-up, just a bit of time to get a few players fit, see what the youth's about. And why not? Speaking of the youth, we'll start off there. A couple of players that stood out, in my opinion, Oscar Bob and James McAtee. It's kicking off with Oscar Bob. Look, I've been saying it about this kid already. You know, he means business. He's a serious player. I've seen it in the youth team last year. We've seen it in the under-21 Euros. Oscar Bob is serious. He means business. The opening two games, he played 45 minutes each. The final one, just under. And look, I thought he was impressive. He's exciting to watch on the ball. His dribbling's really good. I think he's opened a few people's eyes about this kid. People will now take him a bit more seriously. Apparently already this summer, we've shut down some inquiries about Oscar Bob. The likes of Brighton. You know what they're like with the youth? Brighton coming for him. Valuing around 15 million. And we still said no. So clearly, this kid is something special. We like him. And I think we'll see a bit of football from him this season. Likewise with James McAtee, getting a goal in that Bayern Munich match. Granted, it wasn't exactly on the level of Rodgers' goal against Bayern Munich, if anyone remembers that, he had that curl off the wall. But look, a goal's a goal, and it'll be important to him. I've already seen reports about James McAtee saying that he's going to get game time this season. I thought it would have been the same with Tommy Doyle, but he wasn't picked for at all. What does that mean for him? I don't know, we'll see. Another young player that stood out, Rico, Rico, Rico. But the difference is with Rico Lewis, we already knew what this kid was about. He means business. He is the future Philip Lamb. I mean, the Yokohama match wasn't exactly outstanding for him, but by oh by did he make up for it in that Bayern Munich match. He was a real and a good few minutes for him as well against Atletico Madrid. I was a little bit surprised to see a lack of game time for Cole Palmer. I was surprised as well, because that first game, I thought he played quite well. He played the first half of the Yokohama match, and I'll be honest, First half, I thought he was actually our best player. And then after that, we just hardly seen him again. I'm not sure what that was about. Likewise with Maximo Perone. What's going on? I wanted to see a bit more football from him. For some reason, he just didn't get the minutes. I don't know what it was. Again, it'll be interesting to see what that means for going into the season. Will he be loaned out somewhere? Will he get more minutes in cups? I don't know. But I will say that was probably one of the most disappointing factors about this preseason. Perone, I wanted to see more from him. And look, that's not down to him. That's down to Pep or whoever's deciding the team. And I don't think he's actually done bad with the minutes he got. There was a goal against Bayern Munich to make it 2-1. The Laporte goal. It all started from a Corner. And Maximo Perona, he played a big part in that passing the ball through to Foden to take the keeper on and on for Laporte to score. You know, you know it. But it was good vision. It was a good pass to Phil Foden from Perona. You know, it was intelligence. So yeah, I was a little bit surprised. A little bit good. We didn't see more from. Him. Someone we did get to see minutes in a city shirt for for the first time was Matteo Kovacic. For what it's worth, I thought he was decent. I can't say exactly set the world alight, but he weren't bad by any means. Obviously, this is just him warming up. We'll see how he adapts to the City team. Give him some time. I think he's a Pep Guardiola midfielder. I think he'll work one as it's a Calvin Phillips, I love the guy to pieces and I hope it works out for him, but I don't think it was exactly an amazing preseason for him. A little bit sloppy here and there, but look, this season is his season. Do not give up on him. Trust the process. There's a player in there. Get behind him. Obviously, we didn't see any action from Kevin De Bruyne coming back from injury. During the preseason tour, I think it was when we got to South Korea, we seen him training for the first time. I've seen a clip of him scoring top bins volley. It was beautiful. Yeah, to not see a minute from him wasn't exactly surprising. He was on the bench watching the game with a team, which hey, is nice, you know, he looked good. But no, I can't imagine a scene any more minutes from him in the Charity Shield either. But fingers crossed for Burnley. Kev, get well soon, man. Oh, of course, rude. Rude Hullet, Nathan Ake. Picked up a slight injury in the second game, was it? Yeah, Bayern Munich. Apparently the injury's not too bad. Fingers crossed it's not. I mean, he was on the bench for the final game four days after the injury. I mean, we didn't see him play, but look, the fact he sat on the bench isn't exactly a bad sign, is it? So what do these pre-season results mean going into the 23-24 season? What are they good for? Absolutely nothing, do you know what I'm saying? Look, it means nothing. Already won two pieces of silverware. Let's get this charity shield on Sunday. And it's a treble again. Look, I won't be surprised if we left them two trophies in Japan. Had no meaning to them. But look, it was nice seeing us left something again. I guess something else we could talk about. Kyle Walker captain us out against Bayern Munich. Does that give us any hope, any clue on what the decision is going to be on his future at City? No, it doesn't. I'm waiting for this stupid saga to be over. I'm sick of talking about it. Just make your mind up, honestly. I'm sick of it. I'm trying to think back to the free games if there's anything I'm missing. But honestly, I think I've covered everything. I don't know if you can hear that. It's the ice cream man there. He's called Vinny as well. Vinny is to you, Vincent Company. City loves you more than you will do. Yeah, honestly, I don't think there's much more to talk about. We'll end it talking about Scott Carson. It's a disgrace. We didn't even get to see a minute of him. I actually thought we would have as well. The first game, Ortega got a full match. Second game, Edison got four matches. There's a third goalkeeper, there's a third match. Nope, no Carson. First 45 was Edison, the second 45 was Ortega, which look, ain't the end of the world. I know people want to see Scott Carson play for a laugh. He's a good character in that. 
But look, if we're being realistic, what's going to happen going into the season? He's not going to get a minute, is he? And I guess it is a warm-up for the season we're going into. So look, I understand it. But yeah, as I said, we'll leave it there. There's not much more to talk about. Pre-season, we can wipe that one away now. Who cares? The season is starting soon. Oh, we're four days away from the Charity Shield. Wembley! Wembley! Buzzing. Can't wait. I've missed this beautiful football club. Not too long now until I'm back at the Etihad. Oh, I can hear it calling out my name. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's that. I'll leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Go follow me on Instagram. Go follow me on TikTok. Go find Man City fan. Go join me FPL League. I'll leave the code in the description. You know, we're just under two weeks away now. So there's not long to go. And I'll leave it there. Thank you for watching. Nice one.